Howdy, folks. Welcome to Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update, brought to you by Car Anomaly. Car Anomaly. Let me tell you something, Brent. I'm getting excited for the launch of this thing. Oh, yeah. And and I'm testing the app right now. I'm, I'm, oh, you I don't are. know if I'm supposed to say that or not, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, good stuff coming. So, uh, you know, all the things going on, what's happening in the market today? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I, I'm... I'm kind of dress casual because I've been out with a crew, you know, your supervisor leaves when you really need him. You know, he's <laughs> yeah, got a week's yeah. vacation, so I'm having to actually work today. Anyway, Bitcoin running away with itself. It's up 448. That puts it at above 16,000. All right. And we know it's been breaking that trend line channel. So if you look at that, man, that thing is busted up. Wow. And, you know, it's going to run for a while, but you know, will it get to 20 before it turns around? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, one thing is big investors have been getting into it and they're not buying it to just go up a couple thousand points and get out. So yeah, yeah. laws of supply and demand will tell us what that's really worth. And a lot of people calling for it to go much higher. Bitcoin's up 2.8 percent. The overall market's only up a 1.56 right now. So the altcoins are not are not holding their their end of the deal. The deal. Let's look at the Dow. Notice I told you that we had that gap up uh, on the far right there. And yeah. I figured that we're going to close that gap and we're kind of looking at it. This this kind of pattern right here kind of looks tired to me. So I, I really kind of suspect that the Dow 30 is going to start to move a little bit lower. And and to a certain degree, the S&P kind of looks like the tires are coming off of it as well. And NASDAQ, it's been the rocket ship. And again, its pattern looks a little bit better than the others. But you got to kind of wonder at some point if we start to run out of gas. At some point... Um, everybody's going to quit projecting all the way across the crevasse between us. Mm -hmm. And they're going to start saying, you know what, the next year we're not going to get all the way back to the peak. We're going to have to live with what's down here. And they're yeah. going to start to reassess it, especially as the election comes more into view. Gold's up 1131. Uh, silver is off. Well, it's up 1.8 cents. So uh, both of those are doing fine. Oil, 40.95, down 45 cents, but it's had a nice move. That doesn't surprise anybody. And then you go out and look for your uh, December 21. It's at 17,175, which got that 1,000-point gap. Yeah. So the fact we've had a 400-point move up, but the futures are maintaining that 1,000-point gap, uh, that tells you that they're believing this move. But bodes pretty well. That's yeah. good, man. That's good. Keep it green, folks. We want to keep this thing running, regardless of who becomes president. Oh yeah. Ultimately, at this, man, let's let's keep this economy turning. We sure oh, need yeah. it. You know? Oh yeah. And keep it on, please. Keep the economy on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And speaking of keeping the economy on, listen to this. Our Fed, we, when we started this show. We said, all right, U.S., get in here. Cryptocurrencies are real. Get in the game. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been dragging their butt yeah. ever since, right? And that's three and a half years ago. That's exactly right. So, It's Fed... been an unbroken record for three and a half years. Yes, yes. Now, well, we, could, we could become a politician. Yeah, we could, if you, right? If you yeah. could stay on, on, <laughs> yeah. on command, you yeah. know, on point for three and a half years. We ought to run for something. I'm thinking it doesn't really matter what you do. It's just what you say. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah. And, um, but listen to this. The Fed remains committed to being non-committal on digital dollars. There you go. <laughs> That's what you're from. Fed, Powell, uh, Dr Fed Chairman Jerome Powell once again laid out his thoughts on digital dollar. There's quite a lot of work yet to be done. Um, we're thinking the Fed is thinking hard about central bank digital currency, but that's all we're doing right now is just thinking about it. Okay. Yeah. Conversely, look at this next one, European central bank president, Christine Lagarde said she believes the region's monetary authority will move to launch a digital version of the Euro in the next two to four years. They're at least putting a timeline. Oh, yeah. So I, our, our old buddy over there, John Core, he could be right. <laughs> yeah. For the backstory on that, we were talking to John, I mean, probably six months in, yeah, probably yeah. about three years ago. And I said, well, John, where are you at? He says, well, I'm at the financial capital world. I'm in London. I said, dude, I thought that was New York City. No, no, because y'all are never going to adopt crypto because y'all are too paternalistic. Yeah. It says, you know, London is becoming the financial capital. And John may be I tell you, he, he may be part of it. You know, I hate to admit that. But it, it is something that we've been saying for a long time. But see, Lagarde, when she was over the International Monetary yeah. Fund, and then she came out and told central banks, start looking yeah. at this, it is the future. And why the U.S. is dragging their butt, I have no idea. Well, you know, if you've been over the International Monetary Fund, yeah. you understand fake money. Oh yeah! I oh mean, yeah! You know, yeah. You, you really know fake. Oh yeah! Okay? Yeah, like nobody else knows fake. Yes. Money. So, yeah. 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 I'm sure she's headed that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You exactly. Know, apparently, we're apparently we're okay with our mediocrity. We don't. You know, we 
I'm, I'm a bureaucrat. I don't, I don't make any decisions, and then I don't lose my job. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and she also noted, them talking about it with the competition, uh, China's central bank has been working on a digital version of its yawn for several years. Yeah. And it not, not yawn like, like that kind of, but they're yuan. yuan. Yeah, yuan. Speaking of yuan, how about some good news? Listen, you know what, folks? And I have to tell you, th this is one of those deals where all these entitled uh, athletes and all this stuff that go out there and they talk about all their stuff. I was actually glad to see Ice T or Fifty Cent yeah. or Nickel at half a dollar, two <laughs> buck two eighty six, whoever, whatever his name is. <laughs> they came in and got with Trump because he oh, yeah. was actually doing something. But I've I've told all these hot, heavy, heavy entitled people. Go out and put your money where your mouth is. Michael Jordan has tended to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay? And listen to this. One year after he opened his first Michael Jordan family medical clinic uh, outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, and basically what he does is, is it's free medicine using his money to go in and help take care of people. Michael Jordan's paying it forward from a bunch of the money that he made. He is the example for all you other entitled athletes from, you know, Colin Kaepernick, you know, Whatever it is. Well, and, and that's because we all know he originated the big shoe deal. Yes, he did. I mean, the boys yeah. made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Now, he's, he's, he put Nike on the map well, yeah. with those Air Jordans. But anyway, I get kudos to Michael Jordan for going out there and doing something good for folks with all the money you've made. Thanks for checking in, folks. Yeah. We'll see you back here again tomorrow.